Swedish wood, a sought-after commodity in many countries worldwide. Transporting timber from the forest is a challenge. And the majority of cargo today is transported by truck to port for further export. But now, thanks to the opening of a new railway and route, a lot of the timber will see its way straight from the sawmill to the port and global market. One is proud to be part of this premier connection between supplier and global market. In this case, from Malungsfors in Sweden to Tokyo, Japan. It feels incredibly fun and exciting to roll out this first tour. It's also a sight for sore eyes to see a fully loaded train with 32 of our 40 foot magenta containers traveling through Sweden. The train stretches well over 400 meters across the city nightscape as it embarks on its premier hall northbound. One is continuously seeking supply chain improvements, and the opening of this route is a great example of elevating operations in a sustainable way. In total, we are looking at over 800 tons of wood being loaded onto the train. If you'd stack all the wooden planks, they would reach high enough for you to say hi to the people at the International Space Station. Howdy, stranger. The wood industry is a major export product for Sweden, which is the third largest export country in the world of sawn wood products. And did you know that for every harvested tree, Swedish forestry compensates by replanting two new ones. Sustainability is an essential consideration in modern life, and a new route like this will be another step towards reducing the environmental impact of transportation across the supply chain. If this load of as much as 800 tons had been transported by truck, the total emissions would have been 26,000 kilos of CO2. But now the total emissions will only be 13,000 kilos, which is an emission reduction of as much as 50%. A big part of our strategy is to be sustainable. That's why a route like this isn't enough. As well as switching from trucks to trains, we also promote sustainable practices both with service providers and business partners. Who, in this case, compensate their footprint with solar panels and windmills here in Sweden and throughout the world. Well, ocean shipping for the longer distances and uh, using rail for local inland distribution is always a great combo when it comes to economy and environment. For us at the port of Gothenburg, it was great to welcome this first train from Malungsfors and Fiskarheden. And uh, it's been many years of development, and uh, since it was laden with 100% ONE containers, it was a great view to watch the train arrive. It feels really great, from the deep forests of Sweden directly to Japan. We can take the cargo straight off the train and to the ship and maybe in the end to a happy house builder in Tokyo.